So I'm going to show you how to set up UDK with Tortoise SVN. First of all, you need to find the network location that you're going to create the repository on. Once there, create a new folder. Name it something like UDK repository or repository. Best not to have spaces. And right click, go to Tortoise SVN, and create repository. Next we need to create a new folder. This will be a temporary folder. The name doesn't matter. Now we need to navigate to the UDK folder and copy over development and UT game. Paste this into your new folder. If you notice, this folder is pretty large. We need to trim it down to actually put it on the repository. So we will need to go into UT game and delete autosaves, build, log. and also the text files. They're not very large, but you don't need them. Now go into content. We need to delete everything within here. Now we need to make two more folders, custom content and custom maps. These will be where your custom assets are held once they're imported into UPK formats. Now if you go back to your root directory of your new folder, we'll create a folder for raw assets. I'm simply naming this assets and throwing in a models, textures, and sound directory. If there are any more your project needs, you can throw them in there. If you don't need these, then you don't need these. Now we're done setting up our folder. So we want to right-click our new folder and import it into our repository that we made. So we'll go back to our network location and copy over the address. And you want to make sure you have two slashes instead of three. Click OK and watch it import. This may take a while, so sit back and relax.